Hello everyone, my name is Ifwa Labi and welcome back to my channel. So you know in every year there's like a lot of shows that get like a lot of buzz and like people get very excited about it. For me personally, this show, when I saw the trailer for it and I saw executive produced by Jordan Peele, I was like, oh, okay. Then I saw Al Pacino and I was like, oh, you guys, you guys have my attention now. Let's see what this show is about. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about Hunters, which is showing on Amazon Prime. So I'm going to read like the official synopsis from Wikipedia, then I'll get into my thoughts. Hunters follows a diverse band of Nazi hunters living in 1977 New York City. The hunters, as they are known, have discovered that hundreds of high-ranking Nazi officials are living among us and conspired to create Fourth Reich in the US. The eclectic team of hunters will set out on a bloody quest to bring the Nazis to justice and thwart their new genocidal plans. So that's the premise, so that's, that's like the plot, the synopsis of hunters. But before I actually dive into my review, I've got to say, shout out to Tiffany Boone. It is so great to see you prospering, especially after the whole fiasco that was the shy and the way it wasn't handled well. I'm just really glad to see her in something new before the beginning of like every episode it tells you what to expect from the episode so it tells you that this show is intended for adults it has sexual content it has very like bloody scenes it's very violent and almost at the time when people say that oh it's quite violent they're like oh whatever it's just going to be like something very mild but in the pilot in the first five minutes they just delivered five to six murders and even murdered children so i mean after like the first five minutes you're like oh oh these people these people really mean the violence they're talking about and they mean business and it just sets the tone for how the show is going to be so the show is very dark and light at the same time like the colors of it is very gray because it's set in well, the primary action is set in 1977 New York City, but then it goes to Maryland, it has Florida, it goes, it does Washington DC, I think there is Miami. So you see, it has all these different settings and like all the colors and the tone and the style of 1977 really shines through. So that is very amazing to see. I feel like if you take away the murders, it looks like a very stylish show to like just sit back and watch. The one thing I like about it is that Al Pacino is on TV in 2020. I, you know, 2020 is like the year of television. It's the year of streaming. So Al Pacino is great in it. So basically, it starts to follow a band of Nazi hunters, but it actually starts with a story of this young New York boy called Jonah, who witnessed his grandma dying and realized that his grandma actually founded a band of people that hunt like nazis that are living amongst us and not just like any nazis not those regular regular nazis no 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 these are the high-ranking nazis these are the nazis that administer like the gas chambers they are the ones that did all those atrocious things and his grandma set out to like kill them and bring them to justice they find out that some of these nazis that have like their own plans they want to like set up a bomb in like major cities across the u.s because they are very disgruntled after the whole world war ii and the fact that they lost and the fact that there were a lot of factors that went into them losing and they are iron blood they are pure blood and they're not supposed to be diluted by any other thing you know nazi stuff so in the show we actually see that the german gave reparations to the jews you know people that where in the camps people that survived the holocaust and everything after that and it's very amazing because to see that even when the jews are compensated there's still this feeling of resentment towards the nazis because i was like well you did this very sad or very wicked thing to us and we have a right to be angry and it just you know just so in a certain like 30 years after world war ii and they feel like now nah, we still have to exact vengeance i like the interplay between like this Jonah who felt who felt one killing was justified because that person directly murdered his grandma and then he feels a, a type of way about murdering every other Nazi because I mean it's not like they did anything to him directly and then to see how the older people feel about the injustice they experience and that interplay across generations to like okay that happened to you and like I get that it was something bad but it's like it has nothing to do with me and like the people that live through it saying oh no 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 this has to be like 
we have to solve this we have to nip this in the bud before they do something to the country that we are now in so hunters is 10 episodes every episode is 60 to 65 minutes long only the pilot was like 90 minutes long so if you are interested in binge watching just pick a weekend 10 episodes and either you can finish all in a day which if you are kudos to you or you can schedule it over the weekend and watch it and be done with it so that's what it is so moving in no that is an hour long it's 60 to 65 minutes long these are not 42 minutes episodes these are 60 to 65 personally how i feel about it that it says a really great like narrative or commentary on like society now you know especially when people are telling black americans that they should get over slavery and we see that well you know just because something happened 300 400 years ago doesn't mean that we are we still don't feel the trickle effects you know the trickle down effects we still don't feel like the harmful uh interplay the harmful politics and things that went into slavery and you know that is a different conversation and this is like looking at some people that lived through a very horrifying experience and they saying that you know this experience was horrifying and we are out to get justice for the people that did that to us so i mean i want to ask a question you know how like there's been so many slave movies that you feel like oh my god this is another like slave porn we've seen the 12 years a slave we've seen the roots we've seen all those things birth of a nation all those things that like they really call to like the anger and the resentment and like towards these institutions that enable slavery that's like that's kind of how you feel when you watch hunters so if you're not a fan of like being angry please don't watch it like don't don't waste your time watch this as us cry be happy so anyway i'm done with my review of, on hunters if you've seen hunters on amazon prime please let me know what you thought about it did you enjoy it or do you do you not enjoy it as much as you thought you would i've seen a lot of mixed reviews about it for me i enjoyed it because i didn't go in expecting a lot but i like the commentary it brought out of it you know because you know different generations forgiveness blah 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 all of those things so for what's worth i liked it but did you enjoy hunters were you expecting more do you think that there was more that they could have done for it do you think it's going to even be renewed for season two i don't know if it should be renewed for season two but do you think it should be renewed for season two let me know in the comments what you thought about it my name is ifa labi thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next video.